Hi everyone, it's Adam here from Ads Productions, and today I'm going to be talking about the Synology VPN Plus service. Now the reason I'm making this video is because Synology have announced that their VPN Plus licenses are now free until September 30th, 2020. The reason they have decided to do this is because of all the things that are going on in the world and more people that are working from home to facilitate their day-to-day -day business needs. With VPN Plus, you can turn your router or router into a powerful VPN server. And then as a result of this, it allows you to securely access and easily connect to your office or your corporate connection wherever your remote workforce is. Now to enable this, the first thing you're going to want to do is update your Synology router to the latest firmware possible. For this video, I'm using the Synology MR2200AC and when this is fully up to date, make sure that you have the VPN Plus server packaged installed on here. That's what you're going to need in order to get where you want to go with the VPN. Now, once you've got this installed, you want to head to the Licenses tab at the bottom left hand corner. And when you're there, it's going to enable you to purchase, quote unquote, a license. You'll find that when you purchase the licenses, it won't actually give a numerical value other than zero. This means it's free. For this specific device, there is a limit of 10. Once you have as many licenses as you need, you can now unlock the full capability of the Synology VPN Plus suite. Now the purpose of this video wasn't to go into the technical intricacies of what a VPN is and what it does, but I'll give you an overview so you know with the license I can do A, B and C. First of all, we have their clientless web VPN, which basically enables you to access certain web applications through your web browser. So if you have an internal URL within your company, you can assign this within WebVPN so that people only have to go to a web client in order to access the specific application. So it basically enables you to log in from anywhere to the WebVPN and log into the somewhat internal service. Internal applications available outside of the traditional environment. Very cool. Up next, you can actually configure this for the SSL VPN which means you can access both web-based and non-web-based services. So an example would be you download the client either on Windows or Mac, Ubuntu or iOS and Android as well. And then what you get is you get a secured SSL VPN connection with this client through the hardware that you have, which means that you can basically say, hey guys, download this VPN and you connect in through the router and enables remote workers to basically from a network perspective, be in their enterprise environment, not at home. And it also keeps everything resource-wise secure and safe because you're not actually dishing the content out to people remotely on their PCs. You're allowing the people remotely on their PCs to connect into your environment to then access the resources that you would already have available. You can actually use site-to-site -site VPN with VPN Plus. This is a bit more technical, however, Essentially, this means that normal employees don't need to configure specific VPN settings on individual computers because it's site to site to site. So wherever you are will be site to site connected. No problem. Probably one of the most powerful tools that you unlock when using VPN Plus is the ability to monitor and manage your connection. By this, I mean you can identify network traffic and say, oh, there's a spike here. This person doesn't normally use this much traffic. You can also limit the bandwidth that's used. So if you notice somebody's constantly watching 4K YouTube videos and it's taking up all of the traffic, you can control and even put people on a block list to monitor and maintain this. And for security reasons, you can do a connection history check, which means, hey, let's see when people actually connected to and used the VPN. They don't normally connect to the VPN at four o'clock in the morning. Maybe there's something a bit suspicious here. And then obviously we've got the logs as well, so you can do a full report of everything that happened on your VPN network. Reporting as well is a major factor with VPN Plus. What you can do is you can actually visualize all of the statistics from within your VPN service. So for example, you can see all of the active users, how much traffic they're using, and it gives you like a, a grid format to say, okay, this person is using this much traffic and they're online and things like that. It's just an easy view for your network administration. You've also got top domains, so you can see, hmm, okay, Facebook seems to be quite high up on the top domains. Maybe we should not allow people to go on Facebook. 
You can also use this for troubleshooting because certain users might not be aware that there's quite a lot of bandwidth that are being generated on their session. So you can use this to say, hey, did you know you actually have a BitTorrent client that's using up a lot of bandwidth? It just allows you to have a very streamlined environment that you're fully aware of. And then you can see traffic trends. So for example, you can notice a lot of people use YouTube at lunchtime, so the bandwidth goes way up. And then as it gets towards the end of the day, people go back into their work mode to get things done just before they head home for the day. Just again gives you a broad and a general view of the network traffic being used from all VPN services. Very insightful from a system administration point of view. On top of the VPN and web VPN remote desktop and everything like that, they do support the standard protocols. So for example, SSTP, OpenVPN, L2TP over IPsec and PPTP. I mentioned previously that there are actually two types of licenses when it comes to this. The licensing is split up into two. You have one license for the client VPN access and one license for the site-to-site -site VPN access. This video was meant to be a very brief overview of the Synology VPN Plus service and it's free ending on September 20th. It's free if you purchase it between now and then. More of an informative video rather than an in-depth review. Hopefully you've got somewhat of an indication of what's available with this service. And to be honest, if you've got the Synology hardware, you would be crazy not to take advantage of this. What I've done is I've included a link in the description that goes through in detail what comes with this, so you can choose for yourself if you want to jump aboard. Thank you very much for watching, and if you have any questions, please leave them as a comment below, and I will get to them as soon as possible. Thank you.